massive changes are coming to Elite Dangerous. Along with Update 14, which is due to arrive on the 29th of November, will be two brand new game modes. These are called Live Mode and Legacy Mode. Further into the future, there will also be Updates 15 and Updates 16. So, what does all of this mean? Well, you may remember back in September, Frontier updated Elite to a version of 4.0. This meant that everyone had access to the brand new client, those of you who have access to Odyssey, and those players on PC who had access to Horizons had had the choice to load up either versions 3.8 or versions of 4.0. The 4.0 version, of course, is using the new Odyssey-focused client. So what's going to be happening on the 29th of November is that version 4.0 and all the updates thereafter are going to be known as Live Mode. This is the version of the game which will continue to receive ongoing development work and major updates, which of course will include updates 14, 15 and 16. Many of these will be narrative focused and, well, Frontiers say that updates 14 specifically will fundamentally change the galaxy itself and how players interact with it. Updates 15 and 16, they say, will include new gameplay mechanics. All of this will be linked to the unfolding events within the galaxy itself, so the ongoing story. In order to get these updates, players will need to be using the live version, the live mode of Elite Dangerous. So basically, anyone who has Odyssey will have access to live mode. Anyone who also has Horizons will also have access to live mode as well. You'll need to choose this version of the game to get the latest updates. But it seems that the events of uh, the aftermath, the current narrative saga, are going to directly impact much of the galaxy and fundamentally change as Frontier have said. And because of that, and because of the other changes that the uh, 4.0 client have introduced, Frontier are aware that many players will not want those changes and will prefer to play in the old version of the game. That is version 3.8, which is in future going to be called Legacy Mode. This version of the game will not receive any further updates, it won't receive any massive development updates, but it will be the full version of the sim as it exists today in Client 3.8. Players will be able to jump into Legacy Mode and continue on as normal, completely oblivious and completely unaffected by the ongoing narrative updates. So to be very clear there, the Legacy Mode will receive no content updates, no new narrative content, and it also won't be getting any community goals. The bottom line is that Live Mode and Legacy Mode will exist as two entirely separate versions of the game. They will each have their own background simulation and each have their own copy of the galaxy. For example, if players go out and discover a new planet in Legacy Mode, that will be entirely separate to any discoveries made in Live Mode and vice versa. Same goes for any changes and any work done in the background simulation. A further effect of this is that from the 29th of September, you will have two entirely different save profiles. One commander profile for legacy mode and another entirely separate profile for live mode. Both of these will be copies of your account as it exists on the 29th of November. Going forward, they will diverge. Anything you do on the legacy mode with your uh, save profile will be independent and separate from what you do on a legacy mode. For console players, they will not have access to live mode, just as they currently don't have access to client 4.0. Instead, they will continue to have access to a legacy mode. Now, you may be wondering what all of this means for the multiplayer side of the game. Well, to be very clear on that, Open, Solo and Group will continue to exist in both versions of the sim. They will be independent, so if you're in uh, Open on Legacy Mode, you won't be able to interact with people on Open in Live Mode. But nonetheless, each version of the game will have the same regular modes. In terms of how players can play together, everyone using the Legacy Mode will be able to continue to play together. Meanwhile, in the Live version of the game, They'll, you'll basically have to play at the same versions. So if you're both playing Odyssey, you'll both be able to play together. If you're both playing Horizons, you'll also be able to play, both play together. That's pretty much how it works today. You just both need to choose the uh, 4.0 client. But there is a big difference here. Uh, from the 29th of November, 
Frontier are going to give all Odyssey players access to the Horizons 4.0 client. So Odyssey players will be able to choose whether they want to play Odyssey or Horizons. This means that Odyssey players will then be able to play with their Horizons friends. This is something that's not possible at the moment. There's been a lot of speculation as to why that is. Some people obviously mistakenly believed it was down to the uh, Peggy age rating. Clearly that's not the case, as from the 29th of November, Frontier are going to allow Horizons players and Odyssey players to play together as long as they choose the same game mode. So yes, if you only have Horizons, you're about to play with your Odyssey friends just so long as they choose the Horizons mode from their client, from their launcher. Meanwhile, if you of course only have Odyssey Horizons and want to play in Odyssey, then you will need to buy Odyssey. The final piece of information is console profile transfers. You may remember this has been a very big deal and for a long time people were requesting the ability to be able to transfer their saved profile from console to PC. This has been a thing since I think September. But from update 14, unfortunately, this console profile copy ability is going to disappear. And it seems that's due to the way that information will be copied and how it would affect legacy mode. But to ensure the Frontier say to ensure that everyone has the opportunity to use this process, it will be reintroduced in the first quarter of next year. But the version that, that comes back, the version that is introduced next year, will not be as comprehensive as the current version that exists right now. Essentially, they say only the most essential, uh, most important data that relates to player progression will be copied across. So, if you haven't copied your console profile across the PC just yet, and it's something that you still want to do, then it's very important that you do this before update 14, as after that, you won't be able to do it for a little while, and when the option comes back, you won't be able to do it in the same way. So, best time for that is right now. So that's all the latest news and information from Frontier on where Elite Dangerous is headed next. Some personal thoughts on all of this. It's very nice to see that there's going to be continued updates in 2023 for the game. Updates 15 and updates 16. Now, whether or not Frontier have just given us a small bit of roadmap, a small bit of insight for the year ahead, or just the next six months is certainly open to interpretation and open to debate. But my take is that Frontier probably, possibly, going to move towards a six-month update. So a big update maybe every six months. This would mean we could expect to see update 15 around the middle of 2023 and update 16 toward the end of the year. But pure speculation there, the updates may come much closer than that. But if I was going to bet, that is exactly how I would place those bets. Meanwhile, it seems as though Frontier are gearing up to something pretty big with Update 14. Based on the way that they're phrasing the, the terminology here, especially on the forums that they're giving players the option to use Legacy Mode if they either don't want to play at Live Mode or don't have access to Odyssey, it really does give the impression that, that they're going to shake up the galaxy uh, fairly fundamentally with Update 14, making some changes that they know a segment of the player base are potentially not going to be too happy with. For example, maybe the bubble is going to burn, maybe the Thargoids are going to come in and completely annihilate multiple star systems, thereby directly affecting the background simulation work that players have been doing over the previous weeks, months and years. Again, just speculation, but the fact that Frontier is so intent on giving players the option here for upcoming content really does feel as though Frontier are very keen to give players the option to engage with that content. So, yeah, why give the players the option if it's not going to be a pretty big deal? Either way, we'll have to wait and see, but not too long away. Currently, uh, the release date for Update 14 is still the 29th of November. So, what do you think of all of this? What are your thoughts on Elite finally having a legacy mode and a live version of the game? How will this play affect the way you play? Is it going to make much difference to you? Would you stick to legacy mode or would you prefer to jump into live mode? Or will you jump between a bit of both? Do let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'd love to hear from you. That then brings us to the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.